No European distraction for Celtic as they try to wrestle the title back from Rangers. At home to Hearts, they were bidding to stretch their sequence of league wins since Neil Lennon took charge to a dozen. And supporters remembered Jock Steen 25 years after his death. You're immortal now. Jock Steen fondly remembered, and pre match yesterday, a minute's applause around the ground to mark his memory. A Celtic Park debut for Anthony Stokes, signed from Hibs on the last day of the transfer window, up front alongside his former Sunderland teammate Daryl Murphy. Giorgio Samaras dropped out. Hearts will have to do without injured Scotland defender Lee Wallace for a while. Marius Zaliukas missing as well from their first choice defence. Ruben Palazuelos a stand in left back. Craig Thompson missed out. Match highlights with Al Lamont. Deep corner finds Kyle at the back post. Forster's there. And eventually he dives in the ball. But uh, Kyle had found a bit of room. He was unmarked at the back post. And often those end up in the back of the net. Stevenson, well that's audacious from Stevenson and Forster just doing enough to keep it out great vision from the Hearts man there almost producing the opening goal the Hearts have looked bright in the early stages and more so than Stevenson here he goes again here's Suso Santana so close to the opening goal at Celtic Park Santana found a bit of room. But uh, Hart's just unable to find the breakthrough. And here goes Darren Murphy trying to do likewise for Celtic. Here's Forrest in the middle. Well, they could have been behind only 60 seconds before. But Celtic have the breakthrough. And it's James Forrest who's put them in front. Darren Murphy. Squaring the ball, Barr could only play it on to the feet of Forrest and it ends up in the back of the net. Well, Jim Jeffries thought that was offside and for his protest he's ended up in the Celtic Park stand. Boozid getting himself into trouble and perhaps putting his side in trouble here as Forrest zooms in on goal. Maloney couldn't get there, still the danger alive. And eventually, Kelo plucks that one out the air. But Maloney couldn't quite get stretched the leg to knock that one into the empty net. Zagiri keeping his eye on the ball. And Celtic can build from the back once more. Stokes picking up. Maloney bends the run and now he's through on goal. Marian Kello in two minds as what to do. Maloney's round him, he keeps a cool head and doubles Celtic's lead. Well, it was composed finishing from Maloney. Kello could do nothing to stop him. And Egert Jonsson's despairing dive on the line couldn't keep the ball out. And Sean Maloney has his second goal of the SPL season. Maloney once more. Driving at the Hearts defence, he's got Stokes outside him. Stokes going for the debut goal, denied by Kello. First real opportunity for Stokes to get that first Celtic goal. A slack from Hearts and it gives Celtic the opportunity to come forward once more. Poor defending by Jonsson, Maloney's in there. Kello eventually just dives in the ball, but the defending was woeful from Hearts. And Celtic should really have added to their advantage. Maloney just wanted to walk this one into the net. And Hearts really need a goal. And soon, if they're to get anything from this match, down goes 
Templeton under the challenge of Izagiri. He's looking for the penalty. It's not forthcoming. Here's Maloney, the man who got Celtic second. Paddy McCourt gets it back to Maloney once more, and this could be real danger for Hart Samaras. And another good save by Kello to keep the deficit at just two. But Celtic could have had a few more this half. Samaras. That's McCourt. Dancing pass, one challenge and the second is in here. Oh, it's sublime from Paddy McCourt. Another outstanding goal. Well, it's just so effortless looking from McCourt. And a cool finish as well. It's another collector's item from the feet of Paddy McCourt. And it seems as if uh, Jim Jeffries will be dealt with by the SFA, not just uh, for his reaction to those big decisions and the fact he was sent to the stand, but also uh, he may be charged with uh, bringing the game into disrepute as well for his reaction afterwards and what he said about referee Willie Collum. Now, these were the two uh, goals and the two big decisions in the match, uh, which had him hot under the collar. And watch closely for Darren Barr there in the centre circle. Not so much from this angle, but when, when we look at it from the other side, it's Darrell Murphy threw on goal, Darren Barr can't keep it out, James Forrest puts it in, but Billy, what about this when you see it from this side? Yeah, looking for this angle, it's uh, it's very, very tight, you know, obviously at the game, it looks very, very close, but I think the time of the run and the weight of the pass is perfect, I think Darren Barr is, is playing him on half a yard, and, uh, you know, I don't think they can have any complaints, I think it's a legitimate goal. And obviously, what was getting uh, at Jim at the time was the fact that Hearts were having a good spell at that stage and Celtic go and score. Yeah, very much so. I think, uh, you know, Jim will know, he's been there so many years that uh, the opening goal at Celtic Park is very, very important. And uh, Sean Maloney in line, I mean, maybe his left ear was offside, but 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 you, you're just not going to see that in a split second. Well, I think that's onside. I think uh, he's timed the run. There's not much in it. Split decision. Some, some linesmen may call it, but uh, I don't think they have too many complaints here. I can can you relate fun. to Jim Jeffrey's anger and his reaction and, and what happened at Celtic Park? Yes, I can. He's been there so many times. And as I say, he knows the importance of the first goal. They've started really well. They've hit the post. They've created chances. And uh, it's a borderline decision. And on the day, you know, when you're standing there, um, you know, he obviously thinks it's offside. But uh, it's sure it's not. You've never been sent to the stand, I believe, which is quite incredible to hear. So far not. Uh, why, is, why is that? Well, I don't know. I think there's a, you know, there's a line you can't cross. And I think I realise that line. I think you've got to give the, the officials respect. And uh, I think I do that. But uh, I may get sent off on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, there's always Saturday Easter Road, isn't there? Uh, let's have a look at the goal which uh, clinched it in the end for Celtic. Because 2-0, as you would say yourself, is always a, a fragile advantage if, if Hearts could have got a goal back. This was icing on the cake. And what a special moment from Paddy McCourt. Yeah, he's did that so often, coming off the bench and uh, creating special goals. He can score goals for anywhere. You know, plenty to do in the wide area, two or three Hearts players round about him. And he's did this, I say, on numerous occasions. And, uh, you know, if he played with any other team uh, other than Celtic, I think it'd be a start there every week in the Premier League. And you've seen some of the other chances that Celtic had in the game. So while a lot of the emphasis post-match is on refereeing decisions and decisions by the, the assistants as well, uh, Celtic had the chances to win that by more than three by the looks of it. Yeah, I think once you get the first couple of goals, I think, you know, the crowd relax and the players enjoy themselves, you know, playing on the big park. And uh, they've got creative players. They've created numerous chances and, uh, you know, they could have scored more than three goals.